Good Wednesday morning to you. Yesterday we dealt with uh, the woman who uh, had a daughter, a child of an unclean spirit, and she was a Gentile, and she came to Jesus and, and asked for help for her daughter. And Jesus said, listen, what do I have got to do with you? You're a Gentile. I've come for the household of Israel first. And that, uh, that, and then Jesus said, you know, you, you don't throw, do uh, give, give good food to the dogs. Uh, and she says, I know, but even the dogs are able to eat from the table, from the children who drop crumbs. In other words, what she was saying, even the dogs need to be fed and that they're able to, to eat and replenish themselves from the, the, the table, the crumbs that fall therein. But now listen today. Here's what I want to tell you about faithfulness. He says, Jesus told that woman, your faith, your good answer has gotten my attention. And then he showed and he telegraphed his hand that the kingdom of God was eventually going to come to everybody. But now today in Luke, the 18th chapter, verse 1, then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they how they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. And for some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care even what people think, Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, pestering me, I will see that if she finally gets justice so that she will eventually leave me alone. Verse 6, And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? not hearing them, not honoring what they're asking or pleading with. In verse 8, he says, But I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, when Jesus comes, will he find faith on earth? Yesterday, we find Jesus dealing with the faithfulness of a Gentile woman who was in need, who pleaded with him and begged him. And finally, Jesus acknowledged what her needs were for her, for her daughter. And then today, Jesus tells the parable about uh, the person, the woman who need, uh, the widow who needed justice because she was being pestered and, and festered and abused by her adversary. They don't go into detail as to what the situation was. But she brought this to the judge who neither feared God, there was nothing holy about him, and he could care less what people thought. But this woman was so persistent that finally he said, I will listen to her and give her justice. And then God says, please, those of you of faith, remember, if this judge that neither feared God nor respected even mankind heard the persistence of a person's earnestness he gave her justice. Can you imagine what your heavenly father would do for the justice of the children who are crying out in need and pain? He will hear and listen. God, Jesus was saying, our heavenly father will give you what you need. Don't give up. And then he says the final verse, verse eight. He says, but when Jesus comes, will he find us faithful? faithful in prayer, faithful in petitioning, in our intercessory prayer, in our needs. Yesterday's lesson, today's lesson, very similar. Will you pray with me? Father, may you find us faithful in our prayer life. May you find us faithful and do the due diligence that we need to make as we try to find your love and asking your will to be done in our prayer life. Help us to learn how to intercede for those who are in need. Lord Jesus, we ask that you would take us in this moment and grace us with your care. Amen. Don't ever give up in your prayer life. 
you, there is a saying, if you cannot visualize in your mind and heart what you need to do, you will never be able to actualize in reality what needs to be done. If you can't visualize in your heart and mind what needs to be done, then you can never actualize to get a game plan to make it happen. Will you do that today? What game plan does God want you to have to serve him? Find it. Do it. Pray about it. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. God bless you. Bye-bye.